Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 132, Calculus with Applications, Section 11.4, Problem 4. This is Section 11.4, Problem Number 4. It says, use the formula f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h to find the derivative of the function f of x equals x squared plus 9. And once you have the derivative, part a, find the slope of f of x when x is 0, and part b, find the slope of f of x when x is negative 2. So this is the formula that we have to fill in. f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And again, I've drawn this in different colors. I consider this formula of three parts. So I have the three parts in three different colors. So let's do the blue first, f of x plus h. So let me come off to the side. And we have f of x is x squared plus 9. That's given in the problem. Now, the f of x plus h says use x plus h as an input. Wherever you have an x, put in an x plus h. So f of x plus h equals x plus h raised to the second power. And whatever that answer is, I'm then going to add 9 to it. So that is the answer, but I have to simplify it a little bit. I have to foil out these parentheses before I can plug it into my difference quotient. So f of x plus h equals x plus h times x plus h. That's what we mean by second power. This value times itself, and then this plus 9 on the end. So start doing the foil. x times x is x second power x times h is hx, then this h times x is another hx, and then h times h is h second power, and there's a 9 on the end. And now I have x squared plus 2hx plus h squared plus 9. What I did to get to that step is I just combined the hx that's showing up in two spots into a 2hx. The rest of it stay the same. So for the blue part of my difference quotient, there's the answer. This is f of x plus h. That's going to go in the blue value, and then I'm going to do the other values and get an answer. So as I fill in my formula for the derivative, f prime of x equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h, which I now have a simplified answer for. It is x squared plus 2hx plus h squared plus 9. That's the answer I got for the blue part of the problem. Next I have a minus, and then f of x, which I have done in red. f of x is given as the problem starts f of x is x squared plus 9. Now again, when you do this, and you're subtracting f of x, to really subtract f of x, if you have more than one piece, or one term is the right word to use, you have to use parentheses. Then in the denominator, I just have h, and I will close my brackets, and this is the limit I have to take. This will give me the derivative. So now that I have it filled in, the blue portion, the red portion, the green portion, I have to take this limit as h runs down to 0, and that'll be the derivative. In, in other words, it'll tell me what the slope is wherever I want. Now, the problem is I can't let h run down to 0 and I have an h in the denominator. So what happens is all the parts in the numerator that don't have an h should cancel. There should be a positive version and a negative version. Here's a positive x squared. Here I'm subtracting an x squared. So x squared, x squared, cancel. 2hx, it has an h, it can stay. h second power, it has an h, it can stay. 9, no h, here's another 9 that's being subtracted. Positive 9, negative 9, it'll cancel. So what happens is I'm taking the limit as h approaches 0 of 2hx plus h squared over h. Now, every piece that remains in the numerator has an h. So I can factor it out in front and use that factored h to cancel the h in the denominator. 
So now I want to take the limit as h approaches 0 of h times 2x plus h to the first power over h. So again, what changed is the numerator. I made my parentheses, and when I take an h out of 2hx, I have 2x. And then when I take an h out of h to the second, I have h to the first. Right? I, I could distribute the h back in and have that. They're equivalent. But now that I have it pulled in front of the parentheses, I can use it to cancel the h that's in the denominator. So now, if I move up here, I have the limit as h approaches 0 of 2x plus h. So now that there's no more h in the denominator, the h that's left in the numerator, I can just let that run down to 0. The answer for this limit is 2x plus 0. Right? That h goes to 0. We're just plain old 2x. So now that is f prime of x. That is the derivative. This is the formula, basically, that will tell me the slope at any point on the graph that I want. At this point, when x is 0, f prime of 0 equals 2 times 0. I replace the x with the 0. 2 times 0 is 0. The slope when x is 0 is 0. And then when x is negative 2, f prime of negative 2 equals 2 times x becomes 2 times negative 2 or negative 4. So that's the slope at the two points that we're asked in the question. But once you find the f prime of x, you can find the slope everywhere. Now again, we didn't have to see the graph, but just to visually tie it together, I happen to know f of x equals x squared plus 9 is a parabola, again, with the vertex that's up 9. So if I come up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have this picture. It's very similar to the picture in problem number 3, except it's been lifted by 9. So now, when x is 0, I have a slope of 0. The slope is 0 there. When x is negative 2, if I come back 2, so in line here, the slope here is negative 4. And again, when I have the f prime of x, I can find the slope for any value of x very easily just by plugging it in.